Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can create different types of table within R. So many times we want frequency tables or tables which has the aggregated data either by sum or by taking an average so that we can figure it out some meaningful information from, from that data. So here in this video I basically want to talk about how you can create frequency tables and then how you can create the data tables based on some aggregation and finally want to talk about how you can create a structure or a pivot table kind of a structure so that uh, you can have a cross table layer information along with some aggregation type that we want to specify so the first thing is uh, creating a frequency table so the interest or the data set that i have for this is tenu so if I show you about that, A double T E N U. So it is nothing but a data set which captures some information about the earthquakes in California. So 23 earthquakes in California about their magnitude, about their distance and a couple of other information. So if I show you the first six observation, then that is hat double T E N U tenu and choose the event, the magnitude, on which station it captured, distance, exploration, all that sort of information which researcher wanted to capture. And with the help of this data set, I want to just illustrate uh, how you can create a frequency table. So let's say we want to create a frequency table between the event and magnitude to just want to get an idea under which event and magnitude maximum occurrences have been occurred. So for that, the idea is very simple. If you want to create a frequency table, then use the table function. And then within that, define the data set. And then by specifying the dollar sign, you mention the variable. So, or the column name. Here in this case, you want first variable event. And the second variable, let's say you want magnitude. And you hit enter. Once you hit enter, it creates a table on the on this axis on the y axis if you say you have the event names on the x axis you have the magnitude or at the columns you have the magnitude and very clearly you say that under event 19 you have 38 occurrences for 6.5 magnitude of data so something you know maybe a interest of the researchers okay this is where you know most of these occurrences are coming and they may need to further research why it is happening same is the case for this 22 which is saying under event 9 and magnitude 6.6 .6. so overall if you see this quick summary table give you a meaningful information in couple of seconds about uh, the frequency of the data and tells about where the events are mostly occurring so that's one thing and before I move ahead, I would just like to show a quick tip about how you can, uh, you know, make it more meaningful in terms of you don't need, if you don't want to specify this data set name, like here in this case, we are specifying the data set name and then the column name. But suppose if you have 15 different or not 15, maybe let's say five different columns, then how you can reduce that effort. Uh, so for that, you can utilize the width function and first specify the data set name and then specify the table function and just specify the column names which is event and mag it will not do any dramatic change but if you will observe it will create a similar table along with that it gives the name to the table so magnitude is saying on the this is particular column and for event it has given a name to this particular y-axis that's the only change apart from that everything is simple same and uh, with the help of with function you don't have to write the data set name and dollar sign to specify the variables or the columns now let's move on and see how you can create the uh, data aggregation based on some function like sum or mean so for that uh, you need to use the aggregate function and within the aggregate function we need to specify first that on which column we need to specify the aggregation. So let's say we want to get an average of magnitude. So let's write mag, and this is the tilt sign 
and which says that it is a formula so you are saying and and let me write this and then I will read it perfectly uh, completely so here what it is saying that show me the magnitude by event that's how you should read it and then we need to specify the data set name which is tenure and then the name uh, of the function by which we want to aggregate so we want to aggregate by mean if I hit enter it shows us for each event what is the average magnitude if we want any other column by which we want to show the magnitude we can get that so let's say for example um, we have station so if you want to capture the station information also then we can say plus station not sure if I write it correctly yep I write it correctly so now you the information is by station but probably it will not be very meaningful because uh, for every station I think for every station and event the magnitude will be different it will be like a similar to your main table but the idea I wanted to give you that you can have multiple columns like this by which you want to show the average apart from that your requirement can be that by event you want to show magnitude and as well as let's say distance also I think uh, DIST this is the field so average distance and magnitude you want to capture so for that how you will do this so let's say by event we want magnitude and we want distance but if you will hit enter it will throw error right because it will say that it does not it did not found find the mag or the magnitude but if you are combining this in c bind which is nothing but column bind function and then entering the command or entering this entire for uh, aggregate command then you will get the information so now event column so average magnitude and average distance if you have other columns you can go ahead and specify it that's how you can create your aggregated uh, data by either mean or you can specify any other function here like sum and get the desired output so like this you can probably uh, you know utilize multiple numeric values and create the aggregation of data as required and after this uh, you can create a cross tabular kind of a structure with the help of the tapply function so tapply function let's utilize it uh, similarly like uh, the one we have used the table with the help of with function so that we are repeating that and you are much more aware about it and we don't have to specify the data set name also again and again for the mentioning the columns names so with the data set name so let's take a different data set maybe uh, cars or empty cars which contains the uh, information about different cars their mpg miles per gallon how gears that they have whether they are automatic or manual that kind of information so the data set is empty cars and again it is an inbuilt data set so you can utilize this in uh, without having to search searching for it anywhere on the website or internet so with empty cars so the empty cars is data set with empty guards we want to apply the t apply function which is table apply and in table apply let's say we want miles per gallon information which is mpg by uh, by let's say number of cylinders that the car has and the automatic or manual gear car whether it is automatic or manual gear so for that we need to specify multiple uh, columns within the list function that's how it takes the parameter so within list first one is uh, gear let's say and second one is am I think cylinder what I said but gear is another variable so cyl am and we need average so we have specified mean so with that you can see 0 and 1 indicates uh, whether it is automatic and manual and cylinder specify whether it is four cylinder six cylinder or eight cylinder if we want 
if we don't want cylinder and want gear whether it is four three four five gears whatever they have captured in the data set it will list up the values so three and four and five and whether it is automatic or manual if you are specifying more than one three, more than two values then you will see how it will give you the structure so gear am and let's say we want to specify cylinder if i hit enter so first one is uh, basically your so this is these are gear this is automatic and manual and third parameter four six and eight these are like different cylinder so you can in a pivot table kind of a structure what you can understand that cyl is basically a page level information and for four uh, cylinder this is the row and column so this is the gear and uh, automatic or manual information then again for six cylinder then again for eight cylinder so this is how you can uh, create the tables uh, or the cross tabulation with the help of the t apply function which is similar to your uh, pivot table kind of a structure so these are the three ones which i wanted to cover in this video and i wanted to show you how you can create frequency table straight uh, aggregated table with the help of aggregate aggregate function and then cross table kind of a structure with the which is kind of a pivot table kind of a structure with the help of the apply function. So that's all for this video and I'll meet you in the new video with a new topic.